By this point, we all know what essence is by definition. It's basically the liquid form of a Gelfling soul, treasured and valued by Thra, and quite a delectable wine to the Skeksis lords. But what is essence exactly? What is its history, its connection to the planet? Who discovered it, and what is it made of? Well, open your third eye up wide, Dream Fasters, and let's find out. Although it appears to simply be the remnants or remaining energy of a Gelfling, Essence is in reality Vliya. You remember this term was first introduced in J.M. Lee's book series, and it literally translates into Blue Fire. Not to be confused with Vliyaya, which is Gelfling magic, or the manipulation of Vliya. Vliya, or Life Essence, was gifted to all living creatures of Thra, directly by the crystal. The crystal, being the literal heart of the planet, consisted of universal energies circulating and permeating the planet, transforming the souls of all into living bodies. Similar to how even humans are born, we know biologically how a human is created, but where does one's soul come from, our life force that binds us to this planet? Well, on Thra, that energy is the crystal and what the Gelfling absorbs is quite realistically the blood of the crystal. This ensures that upon a Gelfling's passing, their life energy can once again return to Thra, return to the river of light and souls, to fuel it or perhaps to be reborn. And remember, this is the same for all living things, as we witness podling essence being drained after the Gelfling extinction. The point is that to return to the crystal is natural, it is the way of things, the way of the universe, ever in motion, feeding on death to bring life once again, and to not return is unnatural. A very important aspect of essence is its history. Now many out there will automatically think of Skektek when asked about how essence was discovered, but this is actually wrong. Skektek did not discover Essence, he only rediscovered it much later for the Skeksis at the castle. If you all remember, when forging the dual glaive, Skekra and Ergo were attempting to weaponize the Shard of Division and realized that when it was molded to the sword, it had the ability to drain Essence, something Ordon stumbled upon in his early battles. The details of how they discovered this are unclear, but with their powerful communication and connection with Ra, Anything is possible. When one was drained of their essence, it was a horrific sight. If partially drained, the victim would become zombified, catatonic, severely aged, and unable to function mentally, which made for perfect slaves. However, when fully drained, one would evaporate, exploding into mere particles, lost in a miasma of light. The only remaining part of them being a glowing purple liquid, the very life essence gifted by the crystal. But by far, the most terrible part was that any who were fully drained were unable to return to the planet, not only casting their souls away into the infinite black, but causing the darkening to manifest by throwing the natural universal life flow of the crystal completely off balance. As its own blood was given, the crystal had none returning to it, so it became essentially emptied of its own life force, replacing it with malicious dark energy, like a poison coursing through the planet's veins. Upon consuming it, the Skeksis would become revitalized, rejuvenated, and temporarily cured of any impurities, not to mention a bit tipsy, and blinded by their greed, they drank the essence of Thra like vampires condemning the planet to an existence of pain. But perhaps those few vile lords who remained upon the Great Conjunction were finally drained of their own essence, and through the Skeksis life force, the crystal found balance once again.